There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me winter wonderland but man it is so beautiful out right now oh the sun's beating down it's warm finally packing some heat which is good and just out running the dogs on an afternoon and um yeah it's getting a little softer you see my trails are not too bad they're still hanging in there but um pretty soon it's gonna get pretty sketchy so that's the time i'm gonna take my uh quad in to be fixed and then hopefully it'll uh when it comes back the trails will be great maybe we'll get a nice hot snap and it'll all melt while they're fixing my quad and then it'll just be water I have to run through and not slush because it's still very deep it is still yeah I mean it's going down the snowpack's going down but it is slow and it's still like three feet deep so if I go off the trail a little bit it sucks me in and is very soft so needless to say I've been digging myself out a few times here and there and not recording everyone because it would be very boring um sticking myself out almost every day although I've been out like three times in a row and haven't gotten stuck the untouched snow is just so beautiful it's gotta love it and I've been able to keep tabs on some tracks because we've had a couple fresh snowfalls not a lot of snow um, it usually melts the next day but um, puts a nice cover over top of everything so I can see what little critters have been around and I have some game trail footage that I will share I don't know what's on there yet I know I did capture one critter running around so we'll have to take a look at the footage and see what it is. This week my ba major plans are to get the uh, quad ready to go into the shop. As you saw last week my trailer tire was flat so I gotta fix that and then I found the wire. The trailer wire is all trash so I had to buy a new little connector for that so I gotta rewire that. Make sure the trailer lights work uh, when plugged into the truck because that's kind of important and then load her up. This week I I started working on a couple things. Um, the first was building a shelter. The second was carving a spoon, and that turned out horribly. <laughs> Stick around if you want to see a total novice's um, first attempt at carving a spoon. It was, yes, you can definitely improve, but uh, hey, who's going to be an expert the first time? It takes lots of practice. I started collecting willows to try and make willow baskets. <laughs> Um, turns out I didn't do enough research and you have to actually soak the willows first, otherwise they just break. <laughs> so it's a trial and error. I think I'll start a new series called The Trial and Errors of a Beginner Bushcrafter. Let me know if you're interested in that because it's, boy, I've made mistakes and I'm sure other people do. And there's a lot of, um, expert bushcraft channels out there, but I haven't really seen any in which people are kind of new at it and screw up all the time. So, hey, if I can help people with that, then... I'm here for that. As per usual, the dogs are ready to go. That's Lewis and Fosse, enjoying their time in the sun. <laughs> They're so warm. Like, this is hot. Look at the pond. No ducks yet, obviously. But I hear we are getting some uh, geese down at Swan Haven. No, that'd be swans down at Swan Haven. <laughs> Very funny looking at uh, pictures and footage from a few years ago, 2019, we had basically no snow here. It was all water at this time. It's crazy to think that just a few years ago, um, there was no snow at this time of year. Down to, they're just like, hurry up. Okay, let's go. You don't really get excited until the quad is started. Are you ready?
my favorite spring game. Oh my gosh, Howler. No. So, oh geez, Howler. This is our favorite spring game. So it's nice and crusty on there, so I just throw the ball down there. Oh, it didn't go as far. I gotta throw it faster. <laughs> it's a great workout for him. Let's try and get that going a little further. Here, buddy. You ready? Ready? Go. Oh, shoot. That did not go anywhere. <laughs> this is how you tie your dogs out in the spring. <laughs> he loves it, though. Oh, oh, get it. Get it. Good boy. Hey, old girl. She's loving the spring days. I was actually calmed down. Did that tire you out? They just had a walk too, so. This is a bonus play session. And these are new squeaky balls. That's why you're so obsessed with it. It's squeaking like crazy, because you haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> Little Princess Maggie. Okay, ready? Today's menu starts with beef. I'm making a stir fry. So I'm kind of done with the chicken burgers <laughs> and I'm into stir fries now. So let's see how that goes. Mm. Okay, there we go. That looks darn good. And that'll be on a bed of rice. That's my dinner for tonight. There we go. There is dinner. That looks darn good. And let's just put some sesame seeds on there. And of course, cilantro because it goes on everything. Oh yeah. Beautiful, not bad. Well, welcome back. This is your spring, Yukon spring update. Um, it's still winter. <laughs> we just got four inches of snow last night. You can see this lovely fresh snow. This was um, part dirt. You can see the gravel, the middle part of the uh, driveway could see a lot of dirt but not now um it's a layer of fresh snow everywhere whoop de doo and um yeah spring is coming late temperatures aren't too warm going still going down to like minus 15 at night this week upcoming it's supposed to be minus 22 which is not april weather and uh, i'm still working on my trailer <laughs> it has been weeks and i have not gotten that thing going yet it is saturday today so I'm gonna do a few things and try and get this video out for tomorrow. I'm gonna to work on that shelter. I wanna spend the evening out there, maybe tomorrow night. Um, looks like it might get down to minus 14 or 15. But so I wanna go down and make sure I close in the window or the doorway a little bit more. I wanna do that today. I wanna to see how much snow got in there because that'll tell me if it does snow while I'm out there um, that I might get snowed on. Okay, there's the shelter. Let's go see how much snow has fallen in it. You can see it's actually melted quite a bit around there. So that's exciting. Ooh, so there we go. No snow in further, so that's good. Just blown in from the open, massive open area here. So I figure if I kind of Put a branch like right there. Just have a little opening there where I can access the fire pit. Then that should be good. Just need to get more branches. Got a little tinder pile here. Kind of cleaned up around here a little bit. Need to cut some more willows down like these. <laughs> Look at this grass. Grass, you guys. Woohoo. We're so excited to see grass. He's drinking out of my pot. Is that tasty? What's in that? Need some spruce needles. Cleaning up the yard. Roomy 
around here now. Today we're going to do a little whittling. So here's part two of my spoon carving. Uh, part one didn't go so well. But Ow! That was dumb. Yikes. I'm just going to try it with a knife to begin with, but um, it's too hard. I'm a beginner and I need uh, all the help I can get. So I've got all these tools. You can see the most important one being the little hooky thing to do the inside of the spoon. Watch out the sharp. And uh, yeah, every time I handle knives, I seem to cut myself. When I was opening this up, these were all in plastic and um, they just slid out of the plastic. So I slid this one out and it slid down. The rubber thing came off and it sliced my finger. So... <laughs> Today we're going to try and get away without any cuts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Save the skin. We need to make the handle thinner. Oh, this is slippery with these things on. Is that a good thing? Oh, so sharp. Um, yeah, I want to make the handle a little bit thinner because it's a big beefy handle. So let's try and level that out a little bit. And then I'm going to do the inside. Have some kind of spoon shape. A little easier to manage than the at, or the uh, knife, that's for sure. Easier to grip. I gouged so many holes in here with my knife that it's hard to recover from that. Well, <laughs> it is a little uneven, a little wider on that side. Maybe I'll make it a little bit higher at the top.
This is a fantastic little tool. Wow. That sure helps. Makes the job a little easier. doing this to him. <laughs> oh, it rolls easily. <laughs> Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Heller. You need a break? <laughs> This compressor is awesome. Freak, I love it. Look at that. Woohoo! Flat tire to no flat tire. Okay, let's see. Five feet apart. So the lights work. Gotta love it when the wiring works out correctly. <laughs> Doesn't always work out that way for me, but this time it did. So that is fantastic. That is about it for me for this week. Um, it is Saturday. I'm getting this video for for you for tomorrow. <laughs> for you for tomorrow. And um, then you know what's to come next week. Who knows? So I'm pretty happy I got uh, that done. Got to get that quadding. Got the tires fixed. Uh, got some spoon carving done. That's super fun. I'm going to do a lot more of that because, man, I, I really enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to finish off that little spoon, see how that goes, and um, then start on another one because, uh, you know, the first one's going to be crap. I'll frame it for when I make perfect spoons years down the road, and I'll look back and laugh. Anyways, that is it for me. I hope you all had a great week. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you next time. Warm step of, like, minus minus 30. <laughs> that is not a warm snap. A cold snap or a hot snap. <laughs> Frick. Uh, I'm just even film for a while. Hello. <laughs> Look at my stalkers. Get it down. <laughs> what the frick is going on with that? The dogs are flailing through the snow. <laughs> Gotta love it when the brake lights are... <sighs> So the brake lights, so the brake lights work. No.